Welcome back to another reading and correcting of Shattered Salvation with me, Kindar, of the Tiger Eye. Hi, the Tiger Supervisor. If you want to listen to these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. on Twitch. Today, we are doing The guard led Thurston through a series of utilitarian corridor where tired-looking technicians glance at him. Not over work, he guard just might be the end of their work day for this. A left ride up twenty floors led him to a more inviting corridor, pale blue, medium brown floor with a white seal, a long stem plant, plant with purple with a purple flower grew out of the floor every twenty face. And he saw many of them as they walked for minutes through identical corridors before the guard stopped by a door. Clearly, this wasn't the section his employer lived in. She couldn't be one to walk like that. Either have a direct lift or access to the hover. Live in one of the towers of the ship. Please stand, in, please stand in front of the door, the guard instructed. Kristen moved to the indicated spot. Guard. Calm, bordering on board. As he entered, a com as he entered commands in the door, door's control. He'd done this so often, he had to think about it. Kristen kept an eye on the hand as it hung by the butt of the gun, not twitching or no twitching of tension. Silence. The door opened. The door's set to recognize only you. Anyone else you wants in will have to wait for you to open. Unless they have the override, like you do. It's a safety measure, sir. Kristen gave him an amused smile, showing Sure it is. This also means you'll have to let your partner in. This suit has three bedrooms, a lounge, a food preparation unit, and an eating. If you don't care for making your own food, there are restaurants on this floor and the next one up and down. You can get their location on the guest terminal. Oh, and if your partner partner needs to come and go without you, you'll need to contact us so we can add him to the recognition. Are there more instruction for me? Asked, still amused, like anything with Alex out. No, sir. <clears throat> Tristan entered and manually closed the door. He stood in the warm lounge. Two plush seats, one couch were around a table with a fire pit in the middle. Stepped to it, and a small flower came. To, a small fire came to life in the center. At head, middle. Uh, he stepped to it, and a small fire came to life, barely generating any heat. Not the source of the. He shut it off and found the room's life support control, lowering the temperature to a more comfortable. Was this the potential client <clears throat> way of expressing her display? To the right of the lounge was the eating area with the food preparation counter behind it. Heard they could use the food printer provided to have their food made for them. It was what looked like a window showing space, but he was nowhere near the hall, so screen. Tap the control and it changed to an area with animals. With animals he didn't recognize, drinking at a stream. The frame was attached to the wall, so he tapped the screen, brought up the command, the command board. It took him a couple of tries to find the right combination of command. He accessed the code and shook his head at the chaos there. Alex would do a thorough search through the got here, like practice. He searched through the code, looking for anything that would connect to a camera and device. Frame had access to the rest of the ship through a narrow communication port, but he guessed that was to access the database of image or its display. Confident, spy on him, he printed himself a nutrient bomb. Examination. The three bedrooms were identical, each included a bed large enough to fit three of him. Enough and covers were provided that heat on room was set to freezing. Controls by the bed let him adjust its firmness to various section. Why did humans overdo something as simple as that? The walls also had frames which he shut down. Dresser searched. 
the room for any listening device or cameras. That he found nothing simply told him he would, should have gone back to his ship for the scanner. The thickest bed cover off and folded it in half before laying it on the floor. It would be for a bedroom. He searched the other rooms and found nothing there either. He didn't mind being spied on. It wasn't like anything. <clears throat> it wasn't like knowing what he had planned would allow them to stop him. But he liked knowing what he was dealing with. And if it, if it, if there came a need to blind and deafen them, he how? He took his data pad and sat in one of the two seats, thinking in, and sometime looking for the control to adjust the firmness. Finding any, he moved to the table and sat more comfortable on the comfortable chair, the more comfortable hard chair there. He brought up the list of items. His note. He highlighted a few in green to show he'd, show he'd gotten them and was already studying them. Them in the room he turned on his. In blue, he highlighted what he wanted to study next. And the items were read the technical manual before deciding if there was anything worth studying. This brought up the question of what to do after the job if he took it. The list was getting longer and longer, which wasn't a bad thing. Thing, but spending the last years focused on holding Alex into the weapon, he had much time researching anything. Alex had become what Tristan wanted him, wanted of him, deadly, precise, remorseless. All that was needed now was to make sure he stayed home. That could be accomplished with a daily fighting match. Of how Alex would adapt to a quieter life after constant fighting, but if he couldn't adjust, there was the predators in the forest. They wouldn't be used to Alex, and he'd have to make sure they knew he wasn't their prey either. The decision made, he brought up the technical manual for Gunter's new carbine. Someone had dug out an old, the old manufacturer, and their first lost himself in the sending out queries for information as, as needed. Using one of his identities firmly established within the weapon analysis. When he was done with that, he added the carbine to his green list, back with a handful of mercenaries he could trust to acquire those items, and have them shipped to him through a series of automated switches, renaming and readdressing them so that it would be possible for anyone to know their final destination. The door opened and Alex entered, closed without him having to hit the button there. Had canted in a way Tristan had learned to identify with him listening to the computer. His mouth moved, and Alex could almost make out the word, practicing sub vocalism. Alex only needed to speak and he in code to give himself voice authority on some function, like the door. Should be angry, that was the version, and he specifically told him not to do that here, but it was a minor thing, and the control he exerted over the computer made Alex more comfortable. And in a strange way, it made their bond tighter. Alex thought it had become a game between them. Push a little. Never went so far that, Ale that Tristan had to do more than growl, and Tristan did enjoy these moments of banter. They had a quality to them he couldn't identify, but felt natural. Alex had his face back on, including the scar, the scar and Tristan felt something relax. He knew it meant nothing. Alex had been his weapon. He that fake face, but now he looked right. It wasn't the young would be bounty on played. Tristan had liked the hadn't liked the role as face, but the job had called for it. Alex wasn't young. He was mature, dependable, and importantly, deadly. I've overridden the comm system, they can't use it to listen in. He did enter gave and likes his what you did look but then he smiled i think he chose alex liked that the hint of a threat in the play doesn't mean you'll have to it does mean you'll have to activate it manually if you fall out i'm not hearing any other computers so they are spying on us he added counter interest watched him relaxed but ready for anything considered attacking him giving them a solid sparring match, getting their blood hot, their bodies sweaty. But 
Then they'd have to clean the blood off the floor and wall. Have you eaten? Alex asked as the fabricator came on by itself. You think they're actually to us? Seems stupid to rely on the comm system to spy on us. You think they don't believe who you claim to be? Taking you seriously? She knows. But on the <clears throat> data pad on the table. You researched me thoroughly before contacting me. Then this is what? Her not wanting to offend you? Amusement for going. Alex didn't like the client, their client. Not after she cried. Oh, so subtly. You convinced Tristan to get into a bed. The fabricator dipped. He does want me to take this new job. Alex to the plate. Sandwich and two glasses of water on it. He set one glass in front of Tristan. Then looked at the glass and raised an eyebrow. What? I didn't ask for one. You need to stay hydrated. Alex I said that you ate, which means you printed a nutrient bar and ate that while checking out the room. If no one knew, as soon as you were done with that, you sat here and began reading. You tend to forget things like drinking or in research mode. I like to out. have my lord and master keep over due to dehydration. Kristen <clears throat> Tapped a claw on the surface and I ate the sandwich. You know, I'll throw it back in and print a new bar if you tell me to. You do this to irritate me. Well, in his... Alex smiled broad and... A bite of the sandwich. A give and take. Exchange of threat. You should put a stop to it. Drank the water, but it made Alex comfortable. Bonded him tighter. You have the scar back. Alex finished chewing. It was part of the file. Here to just have it put it back on. Tristan nodded. Change of the face had been part, in part because the scar was too distinctive. Even with a younger face, one of the guard might have recognized it. Crimson's, who was known to be an associate of Tristan. It would have complicated. This is just a hunt. It isn't like it matters if I have it or not. As was often the case, Alex wasn't thinking far enough ahead. This job might take them places a mask would be required, but realistically, if that became the case, it would it could be removed then. Alex face as he decided he hoped to be. Alex didn't look right about the scar. A weapon should look like it had been used, not like it was not like it was falling apart, but a few scratches. Scar. Without it, Alex looked like a knife hanging on a wall, like those he kept in his room. There was, a di there was definitely a sense that one could be taken down and used to damage, but a scarred weapon told you it had happened. A scar told you he was dangerous. You think this is about going brother is real? You think this thing about her brother is real? To me, it would be easier to just put a bounty on it. Cheap her, too. It's real. But there's more to it than she said. Something else Alex and talking about the job. Sometimes it was so he could work out details for himself. This felt like simple conversation. Alex knew the answers to the question he wanted to talk. Alex raised an eyebrow. Gate. The old man. She already implied that his rescue was part of this. Her comment about the research? I thought the rescue was just because he was grandfather and she didn't want him to see him rot in there longer. Alex took He was there for 32 objective years. Why wait this long? People on ship like this don't go into cryo, so it isn't like she couldn't do it. As soon as she gained control of her family's finances, she had the resources out. Alex shrugged. So she doesn't care about him? I won't claim to know how she feels about him. Alex eyed him over the rest of the sandwich. Elaborate. The research will have an impact on hunting her brother, either on how he go about it or where to find him. She could be lying. Isn't. You're not infallible. Wow, she isn't. Not for you. Alex wasn't obviously looking at him, focusing on finishing his sandwich. One was neutral on the surface. It was as, as it was simply Alex sitting something he noticed. Of course, there was more to it. I know. Alex couldn't control the moment of tension in his body. Alex wasn't entirely sure where he fell in life. I'm sure of that. 
he didn't want him to grow that would lead to him growing bolder. Alex knew his place as his weapon. That was all he wanted. Just enough of a hint. There might be something there that Alex kept going. Alex now had enough control over himself that attention and only indication he wasn't entirely happy with the situation. Alex took the plate and his glass to the against the counter. Do you think this is just about getting you? Tristan watched him and waited. He wanted to see where Alex was going. Alex sighed. I think she wants you as her, whatever she calls the guys in her bed. Jealousy in his voice wasn't surprising. That's it for the last two years. Tristan hadn't done anything, being Alex off balance to force her. He hadn't responded to any advances he'd gotten sex in any of the job while well, Alex did something because jealousy he let it pass. But this wasn't something he needed to let grow this time. She only wants to bed me. She can have anything and anyone she wants. I am exotic, a criminal and deadly. Alex, I think you know the kind of effect that combination can have on someone. She would have me once and set me aside. I've satisfied her curiosity. Having shown how fearless she was for spending a night with me, I have no interest. I'm not interested in giving her the satisfaction. Watch for Alex's reaction. They were subtle. Tristan had taught him that, but he could still read him. Annoyance that Tristan had worked out all that. Some relief that he didn't, that he wouldn't go to her. Fear it was just to placate him. The, she isn't the job, Alex. Better, betting her gains us nothing. Decided to give him more this time. I need relief. I'll go with my trust. The tension in his jaw went away. Elders relaxed. Alex's nod was barely perceived. Going to head to bed. The downside of a good cryo is that time doesn't pass. I've been asleep for months. I haven't slept in two days. Objectively, you haven't slept in 28 hours. Which is why I'm going to bed. My room is that one. Alex walked by him, then paused, turned, and took something out of his pocket. May I ask, showing the metal object he was holding, diamond shaped platinum. Tristan looked at it, heard Alex put it on him all those years ago. His internal debate over came just another part of him, he nodded, and Alex stepped closer. He parted the fur on Tristan's collarbone, the diamond there, he was lingering. Tristan moved a hand to it, caressing, Al caress caressing, caressing, caressing Alex's arm, and relaxed even more. Alex, Alex looked forwards to the moments. It was one of the easier way to control him. Stokism. Tristan watched him, his back, his legs, his ass. He liked watching Alex move. The power he demonstrated when he killed could be intoxicating. But even just watching him walk made him feel good. Not that he'd given to that. He would relief. Enjoyed it when he took when he used when he used it when he used it to tighten the bond to Alex. He did that too often. It used to start expecting it, maybe even demanding it. Alex would make him wait. Oh, Alex would make him. He drained the rest of his water and picked up his data pad. Reading would distract him from Alex. How did he need its sleep? This concludes chapter of Shattered Salvation. If you are enjoying, please leave a like. The next one is up. Subscribe and hit the bell. Want to read? Book, as well as the others in this subscribe la they're available on all the major e-retailer want to support me that's on my patreon where you can also get access to just about everything i've written if you want to listen to these live it's every tuesday morning 8 a.m eastern time twitch the links are in the notes for that i wish you a good day